Hello everyone and welcome to another video from singleboard.com. Today we're going to be talking about the podcast software called gpotter. gpotter is an open source free downloadable software that works very well on your Raspberry Pi and it allows you to connect to gpotter.net to all of your favorite podcasts and audios that are out there. I'm going to show you how well it works on Raspberry Pi today so let's get started. First off, we're going to wind up clicking, as always, on the Raspberry, going down to Preferences, and going to Add Remove Software. When the window opens up, we're going to be typing in gpotter and pressing Enter. It'll, as always, search through the Raspberry Pi database of programs and files that are available for you. And it'll come up, and when it does, you will click the checkbox and then on Apply. It should only take it a second to go through the depositories, and there we go. You can see it's already marked the dependencies, so let's just click the box for gpotter, click apply, and it'll start to install the software and any dependencies that are needed at this time. Put in your password, enter, and it should go about installing the software. There are several podcasts that I listen to for both information, uh, music, um, just background noise or things that I'm interested in over the time. And you'll see how well it works here. When I go to connect the account for gpotter here to the gpotter.net website, you'll see that the podcast that I am already uh, signed up for on gpotter.net will automatically show up in sync to my Raspberry Pi here. And the cool thing about that is, is that I can have it here in my Pi, I can have it on my Linux Mint machine, or my Windows machine at work. Uh, this software works on all platforms, works on Mac OS as well. So if you have an account which is free on gpotter.net, then you can sync all of your content across all of your devices. That's what makes this so simply awesome to use. So now that it's installed, go ahead and click the X, close the box out, click back on your Raspberry, Go down to Sound and Video, and you'll see the gpotter is installed. Go ahead and click on that to open up the program. It is very easy to use, and you can see that it automatically sees everything that's on there. I already signed up on my Raspberry Pi here for the account on gpotter.net and synced everything. You can check for new episodes, download the eight latest episodes, put in your preferences. Everything is pretty straightforward. Uh, discover new podcasts. You can actually go to the gpotter.net search, search what you're looking through there, the top 50 that are recommended, as you can see. All kinds of great information here. Search for what you want. The top 50. Floss is a good one. I'm subscribed to those. TED Talks, some people are familiar with. A lot of really good stuff in here. Search by ULO, Cloud Search. Good information. So. You should pretty much enjoy this. You can, like I said, sign up for a free account on gpotter.net and find out what you want to go from there. Once you have your episodes in place like that uh, you're looking for, let's go to this one here, you can click and download the latest episode, which I've already listened to this one here. Click on what you want, highlight it with a left click, right click, download the episode. It'll download the episode. You can see the progress is active. It's downloading the episode now. It's completed. If I double click on it, the information on the video shows up below. If I click right click on it, I can actually say play. It will launch your favorite player, which at this point for me, I have installed on the Raspberry Pi here VLC. It'll start playing that and then it'll be in the background. And there you go. So, I mean, it's literally just that easy on how well this software works. You don't have to use VLC, you can use whatever other program you want. But once it's installed, it syncs across all of your devices, it shows up in your menu. Everything is just literally that simple. Different screens, how to connect to your account, updating, interval, cleanup, devices, excellent software. So when I'm working at creating mind maps or setting up something for future projects here on single board i usually have like i told you before music in the background or as you can see here actual podcasts working 
So, G Potter. He gets a thumbs up from me. It's excellent software. And today's video was recorded, as always, using the re-speaker with the simple screen recorder software. I don't really have too much else to put at this point on this software. Give it a try. See how it likes. If you like what you've seen today, please subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell for future notifications. And I'll talk to all of you again really soon. Take care, folks.